Good morning dear friends and uh, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for this brand new day. And I always remember the mercies of God are new every morning. So enjoy the new mercies that you need today. And um, in our last meditation we uh, were meditating on Peter. Uh taking the verse from John's gospel chapter 13 verse 36 and also the gospel according to St Mark chapter 14 verses 29 to 31 where you know Jesus um uh, Peter told Jesus even if all other disciples fail and deny you I will never and so Jesus told him you will deny me three times before the rooster crows uh, three times i mean twice and um, then we last week we in our last meditation we uh, considered we saw how peter showed some remarkable spiritual qualities and spiritual power uh, because he gave up all to all to follow Christ and uh, then he readily obeyed Christ and then uh, he was a man of faith as he walked on the water and uh, then we saw he had spiritual insight uh, concerning Christ who Christ is that was the Christ and uh, today uh, we will look into the problems that peter had which led him to deny jesus christ there are three main thing the first one was self will when he say he gave up everything but self and when jesus was talking about what was going to happen to him in jerusalem he will be arrested and he will be tortured and he will be persecuted and then he will be crucified and they will kill him and kun um, consent to christ death you may read matthew chapter 16 verses 22 to 23 and when peter heard all that jesus was telling them what was going to happen to him he immediately shouted and said no these things shall never happen to you oh no why did he say that when jesus himself is telling what was going to happen and by this time they should have known that jesus knows exactly what is going to happen and why he came but there was selfishness there they all were looking for the kingdom of god to be established here and they were going to reign with jesus they were thinking more about themselves so that self will many people are seem to be good in their own eyes and even to others because of these wonderful qualities you may display like peter did but behind all that there is selfishness which you don't see and the, i i i myself don't see about myself but jesus christ sees what is behind your statement to jesus revelation and so that is self will and the second problem he had was self seeking matthew chapter 19 verse 27 um and let us look into that matthew chapter 19 verse 27 we are told here Then Peter answered and said to him See we have left all and followed you therefore what shall we have 
that is self seeking there is a selfishness behind everything we do and there is a selfishness we can notice even to some disastrous it is a response to some disaster that may have affected someone else for example there is a train accident hundreds and hundreds of people died and i am sitting at home and uh, when i see the news or hear the news what is my first reaction the first reaction is he may not shout and say it but he may be quiet about it but what he feels is oh thank god i am i was not there in that train that is the first reaction that shows what self seeking afterwards they may say oh we are sorry for those people who suffer loss of people and all that and there is a selfishness in everything behind everything that we do and uh, if our self is not going to be satisfied they will not we will not do though it may profit to someone else and so there is not the self will but there is also a self seeking and then thirdly there is self confidence many times it is the self confidence that cause problems for one's life for example a student who was expected to get to first class or a rank he failed why over confidence about himself oh i can make it and so he neglected the studies he neglected to do reviews of his lessons and he was so self confident that he said i can make it and the result will be failure many times that self confidence many very often cause problem for many people though all will forsake the not i that is because he did not know himself he was so self confident that he made that statement you know james gave us a good advice in his letter he said never say i will go to saw and saw city and i will start a business there and i will make money and i will be prosperous and uh, one year i will do that and then i will come back with a lot of money then james say you don't say that you will only say if god wills then i will go in so and so city and i by his grace will start a business and i will trust my god to give me success you bring god into anything that you want to do and let god receive all honor and glory for your success never say like nebuchadnezzar because of my power with my own hand i have built this great city and you all know what happened to nebuchadnezzar now my friends here is the thing as i said in our last meditation one can possess some very wonderful spiritual qualities like peter had and yet fail at the most crucial times and peter when jesus needed needed his disciples not one was there with jesus and my friends let us take care that we will not lose what god has given us give glory and honor to god for everything you possess never say it is mine it is my ability no it is god who gives us abilities it is god who keeps our mind healed 
it is god who give us give us give us physical strength to go to our work mental strength to do our work and again healing and he provides our needs so that we are not weak physically or emotionally or mentally and above all let us be strong spiritually by bringing god into everything we want to do it is for his glory it is because of him and it is he who enabled me to get the first rank and admission it is god bring god into our lives and let us live a god centered life all our activities must be god centered and god must receive all honor in our life never forget and this is a great day as you live your life today let the glory of god shine upon you and by the end of the day you will have cause to rejoice and give thanks and praises to god for the success for helping you amen holy spirit of god we all need the holy spirit without you lord we will never make it we will never succeed even in following christ unless we have his grace his holy spirit leading us so fill us all with your spirit and fill us with your humility may we be humble before you and admit that i don't own anything everything i am everything i have is god's thank you amen god bless you have a good day